People all over the world travel to see this. In this video, we will bring you along with us on our road trip from Phoenix, Arizona to Flagstaff and ultimately to the world famous Antelope Canyons. Make sure you watch until the end where we will share with you a few tips about best practices to book your trip, rules you will need to follow while visiting, and the best time to travel to actually catch the Instagram famous light beams. So let's go! Our road trip begins in Phoenix where we will jump on the Interstate 17 and head north towards beautiful Flagstaff. And three hours later, it's 50. Yeah. I love it. That's Arizona. Cookies, Wi Fi password is Arizona, and breakfast is right over here, 6 30 to 9 30. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Let me turn the heater off. We got a hotel that's comforting. It's a nice hotel. Everything is so pricey in Flagstaff. I was looking for the difference between Airbnb and hotels and at the end I decided for this one. It's not the cheapest hotel. You can get cheaper hotels, but for this room we pay 260 bucks per night. Come on in. This is our room. Look at that. TV. Window. <laughs> we will tell you more about this hotel later. Oh, couch. And in this area, our little bathroom. And there's toilet and shower. Good enough, good enough. Flagstaff is a cool place to kind of start. I think it's it's a good stop if you go to see Grand Canyon too, because it's like hour from here. It has like a European vibe. Right? It does, yeah. It's walkable. It has really cool downtown. A lot of little shops and coffee shops. All oh, that coffee too. It's awesome. Yeah. You want coffee? So we're going to this Thai place in downtown Flagstaff, which we've been there once before during COVID. It was the first restaurant after COVID. We were so nervous. But it's delicious, so we're gonna try it out. It was it. just like such a luck find. So I'm curious if it's still good. If it's good, we'll recommend that to you. If not, we'll still mention it because we're filming it. <laughs> I hope it's free. Downtown Flagstaff. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. So cool. I love this place. I know. It's pretty cool. It's got such good vibes. All of them. <laughs> all, all of the vibes. Oh, two. Two? Yeah, thank you. Downtown Flagstaff has lots of different options when it comes to food. Cheers to us. If you walk around, you will find whatever is that your heart desires. Get some breakfast from the hotel. It's included in the hotel, right? With the mm -hmm. hotel price? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Better than nothing. Yeah. We didn't sleep well. Yeah, no really. Antelope Canyon, here we come. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Take it off. It's a beautiful morning, man. I love Flagstaff. Antonio has birthday today. He is 41 years old. Now, repeat what you said. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm turning 41 today, which I guess sucks. But at least I'm not 42. That's the only thing that keeps me going. Yeah. What's your reason to leave? <laughs> Definitely not you, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Do 
just got to the Lower Antelope Canyon and it seems is, like it's pretty crowded. Ah, it should be fun. Should be, Experience. Should be a lot of fun. We checked in, we have 30 minutes. We will gather all and we will go. You will book your tour ahead. You can do it online, you will pay it. What happened? They are actually not tour providers. And I spent $298 for both of us. And they are telling me your booking is waiting. Confirmation from the tour provider. So they are just third party. Man, that's messed up. Did we just lose $300? We need drama for this video. So good. I hope we get scammed. <laughs> And then 45 minutes before your tour is due, you have to show up and check in. You will sign some waivers that if you break your neck, they are not responsible. You cannot bring practically anything with you. No bags, no backpack, no tripods, no gimbals, no... Uh, what is that thing everybody's selfie using for sticks. selfie <laughs> selfie stick? We are bringing your camera on. Right. We'll see if they let us do our thing. We have Mike, we are obviously pros. So we do have a mask mandate still in effect. Um, your tour guide will work with you on that mandate okay um, the first part of the tour we ask that you keep your mask on throughout the whole tour this is lower lower antelope canyon there is upper which is across the street that's the most popular one so so we're gonna compare which one is better upper is more popular and much more expensive lower look around how crowded it is already so we'll see he'll be fine regardless yeah we will have a good time like always let's go real quick i'm gonna go over the rules before we head on down when we get inside the canyon, there is no video recording. Again, as I told you guys before, this is private property. Photos cannot make this place justice. If you haven't seen it, no explanation is possible. If you've seen it, no explanation is necessary. It's cool, huh? This was the most crowded weekend during the whole year. I want to come back when there's not that many people. It's just such a magical place. You can't really tell, but like the canyon is right in there. There's no, you, you're good, you're all good. The cracks are right there, the canyon is right below it. What do you think, Antonito? I think it's beautiful. Kind of like kicking myself in the butt for like seeing this after 20 years living in Arizona for the first time. So it was worth it? Definitely worth it. It was awesome. I think we're definitely coming back. Unfortunately, we weren't able to film inside because it's forbidden. And I can kind of see why. It's not super safe, especially lower one. You have to yeah. climb all the stairs. It's very narrow. You need people to focus. And tomorrow morning, we're going to the upper Antelope Canyon and then we'll be able to decide which one was better. But this one was awesome. I loved it. Right now, we need to eat something. I know, I'm sorry. Today was cool, huh? It yeah. was a beautiful day. We made a lot of friends in crowded canyon. From 60 Flagstaff. people every 15 minutes enter those canyons. 60? Six zero? Yes. Oof. Wow, that's amazing. Arizona sunsets are kind of like no other, really. I agree. This is why we travel. This is why we travel. I'm rolling. Good for you. So we just checked in for Upper Antelope Canyon. We made a mistake when I was booking it. I went through third provider, which means that I had to pay fee for that. Look around, book it directly with Antelope Canyon Navajo Tours because you pay less and you don't have to pay third party fee. Katarina, party of two. Trucho, party of three. Party of two. <laughs> The rules are similar, you have to have mask, you cannot film inside, you have to be here at least 30 minutes before it starts. Definitely book it, especially if you're traveling from far, do it. I had something else that I want to say, but I just forgot. Our decision to visit Antelope Canyons was spontaneous. So when booking the tour, we had to sacrifice that elusive, perfect light for a last minute spot on the tour. For us, this meant to be at the upper canyon at 9.15 a.m., which is not the most ideal time to visit. 10 a.m., it's really, really dark. 
Not a lot of people. However, when you book this trip, you can do it based on what your priorities are. Do you prefer a less crowded, more intimate experience? Or, crowds are not really a big deal, because what really matters to you is to take that one perfect photo. This is pretty incredible. It's awesome. There really isn't a right or wrong answer. Here are some tips before you plan your trip. You are visiting Navaholland and booking a local guide is needed. Tips are always appreciated. The two most popular and probably the most stunning are Upper and Lower Canyon. Do you have more time on your hands? Look around for other spots. We will show you an alternative way on our next video. The best months to visit are May to September and the perfect time is 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The famous light beams will appear during this period of time and only in the upper canyon. If visiting in the winter or in the morning, the lower canyon might have better light conditions. There are several local tour providers, we will link those we used in the description below. Pricing depends on time and location, upper canyon is more expensive. Avoid visiting around national holidays if you have an option. Check the local weather forecast. Flash floodings happen during monsoon season in the summer and it gets really chilly in the winter months. And the last and the most important tip, make sure you plan ahead and come to see Antelope Canyons for yourself. It's so worth it.